Hello and welcome back. In the last video, we went over the theory behind my seven step buying checklist. However, what I want to do is go over a practical example and what better way to do that than by using a real time walkthrough. So what we're going to do is go through the whole process from start to finish, and that should give you a really good understanding and allow you to find the best expired domains out there. So step one of the process is how do we actually find these expired domains before we even run them through our seven step checklist? Well, I put a link to a list of tools you're going to need for this process. And the first two right here, SEO domains and Spamzilla. Well, these are two different tools you can use to find expired domains. So let me run you through the first one, SEO.domains. So I already have it open here in a new tab. And as you can see, SEO.domains, it allows you to buy higher authority expired domains for PBNs, affiliate websites, money sites, and even to use as 301 redirects as well. And one of the best things about SEO.domains is that it is completely free to use. You don't have to pay to see the database, although you do have to sign up for a free account. Now, a cool story about SEO.domains, I actually met the owner of this company at an SEO event in Chiang Mai, which for those who don't know is north of Thailand. The owner is really, really nice. His name's Kaylin. I don't have any shares in this company whatsoever. However, I do buy a lot of domains from them. I actually bought two domains uh, recently and I've already redirected one of them and I've got really good results. So to see the domains on this website, all we need to do is click see domains now. And like I said, you will need to be logged in to actually see all the domains. Let me go ahead and just clear all of these filters. And as you can see, what it's going to do is list out every single domain on the website. Now, what's great about these tools is that they list out pretty much a lot of the metrics that we need. We can see the domain right here. We can see the domain authority, the amount of referring domains the domain has. We can see the domain rating, which is an Ahrefs metric. And then we can see the trust flow and the citation flow as well. So this is all the information we need to be reviewing when it comes to determining if a domain is toxic or if it is a good domain for us to go ahead on. We can also see some additional information as well, such as is this domain currently indexed in Google? How much traffic this domain is getting every single month? The first category, which is pretty much what the website is about. Then we have a second category, which breaks down the first category. So this website right here, Peter Vigors, this is about politics and government in particular. We can also see the website's TLD, the top level domain, which in this instance is UK. Although you can get that information just from looking right here at the end of the domain anyway. We can get the language of the domain. We can get how long ago it was added to the SEO domains database. And we can see the price of this domain. So pretty much lots and lots of information. Now, I don't recommend you just go in here and start browsing all of these domains as there are a lot, a lot of domains and there are a lot of pages as well. So if we go back to our checklist and start to add some filters and that way we can tell SEO.domains only show us websites that meet the metrics that we want, right? Which is the main authority 15, trust authority 15, citation flow 15 and above, and referring domains 50 plus as well. The last three things of our seven step checklist, well, these are things we need to check manually. However, we can at least automate some of the process. Let's go ahead and add in these filters right now. I'll go back to SEO domains, scroll up to the top. I want to go for domain authority of 15 and above. Trust flow, oh, uh, referring domain, sorry, needs to go for 50 and above. Trust flow, 15 and above. Citation flow, 15 and above. Now, if I simply just go ahead and search for these filters, it's going to show me tons of different domains across multiple niches. For example, we can see we have a domain right here, the caseyjamesblog.com, and this is related to entertainment and music. Go two rows below, we've got one about web design and graphic design, so completely different niches. So what I always recommend you do is go ahead and specify something related to the niche you are targeting. You can either do that by going into the search box and typing in a word such as garden, mag, culture, gold, SEO. So these are actually terms I've searched for in the past to find domains for my affiliate websites, but pretty much you get the idea here. And when you use this feature, you're pretty much telling SEO.domains to try and find that word in the domain name. So it's not always the best thing to use. I always find it's a lot better to scroll down and come to by category and then simply select the category that is relevant to the niche you are targeting. So let's imagine that you are building a affiliate site in the health niche, right? The first one at the top. And you want to find an expired domain that you can use for your website. So simply go ahead, click health. By default, I always leave first, second um, and description added. 
and then go for filter. And now you can see we are only seeing domains that meet our metrics, citation flow 15 above, trust flow 15 above, referring domains, domain authority, and they're all in the health niche. Now the health niche is going to be the first category. However, there are different niches within the health niche. So all you need to do now is scroll down and take a look at these domains and see if any of them are of interest to you. Once you've added your filters, I would pay more attention to the price than anything as these domains do vary in price. You've got some at the bottom for $10,000, which is absolutely insane. Cancerbackup.org.uk. Wow, that actually sounds like a really good domain. You can see it's got over 1,000 referring domains. Referring domains is the second column, by the way. Uh, I know this, obviously, because I've been using this for the last few years, but they probably do need to freeze uh, this top row just to make it a bit more user-friendly. But pretty much, you want to go ahead, review the metrics, and see if there's any domain that you are interested in that suit your budget. So this one actually looks pretty decent, $450, for example, harleystreettreatments.co.uk. This actually stood out to me because Harley Street is not too far from where I am in London. You can see if I scroll up, you can see the data. It's Domain Authority 19. It's got 67 referring domains. Domain rating two, I'm not too worried about that. Trust flow 23, again, quite high. I'm quite impressed by that. And it's to do with health and the cosmetic surgery. So if you happen to own an affiliate website and it's reviewing products in the cosmetic surgery industry, then this is something you potentially would want to look at. So let's go ahead and look at this domain in more detail, harleystreettreatments.co.uk. So the first thing I'm gonna do before I go any further than this is go back to my seven step checklist and I'm simply going to answer my questions. Well, is this domain more than domain authority 15? Well, yes it is because I added my filters. It's the same with trust flow 15, citation flow, and referring domains, right? So the first four parts of the seven step checklist is pretty straightforward to populate. They should all say yes by default as we are adding filters to our search. So moving on to the next three things. Does the website have a clean backlink profile? We know it's got more than 50 referring domains, but are they spammy backlinks or are they backlinks from clean websites? So what you want to do is go over to your SEO tool of choice. So I've got SEMrush right here and simply plug in that domain name and then carry out a search. Now, what's important to know is that the data you're going to see in these SEO tools is going to vary to the data you see in the expired domain software. And the reason being is because the data here is not updated as frequently as the data in the SEO tools. For example, we can see we have 67 in this column right here, which is the amount of referring domains this website has. However, when we actually review that in SEMrush, we can see they only have 29 referring domains, which is actually less than 50, right? So it's always good to double check these things. Do not just go over the metrics that you're seeing on these expired domain websites. So at this point, you have two choices. You can completely scrap this domain as it's less than 50, or if you really like the domain and you love the name, it's super relevant to your niche. You can then go ahead and do a bit more analysis. So let's just go ahead and look at these backlinks by clicking this number right here. This is then going to list all the websites which are linking to this website. So straight away, I can see this link here from this other country in a different language. Again, that could be classified as a little bit spammy. Maybe yes, maybe not. You might want to look at that in a bit more detail. So you can just open that in a new tab. We've got lots of other websites, uh, Sexy Roleplay, Sexy Roleplay again, Adult Fantasy. So you can see these are very, very spammy backlinks, right? We're getting links from adult websites and the website is literally nothing to do about that. In fact, we can actually see some of these pages have probably been actually hacked on the website. High sensitive areas such as the nipples, bikini line, and full public. That's nothing to do with Harley Street clinics. So again, you probably wanna avoid this domain. So this is why it's really important to go through the manual checks, as if you just go off the metrics, you can definitely end up in some trouble. But let's imagine we checked out the backlink profile and it's all absolutely great. So go back to our checklist and we say, yep, yeah, backlink profile is clean. Again, I'm only saying yes, just for the purpose of this training as I wanna make sure I go through the whole thing from start to finish. The next part would be checking if the domain has been dropped frequently. So the way to do that is by using this website right here, whoisrequest.com forward slash history. Now what you want to do is go ahead and take the domain name, harleystreettreatments.co.uk 
and then plug it into this box like so. Click get history. It's then gonna tell you how many times it's been dropped in the last amount of years. So this has been dropped two times in the last five years. That's actually not that bad. I would say that's probably the maximum you want to go out. That means it's been dropped once every two and a half years. So again, not that bad whatsoever. So in this instance, I would say no, it hasn't been dropped frequently, it's only twice in five years. So go ahead and say no. And remember, the only one which should say no is row number five, drop frequently. All these other ones should be saying yes, 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 yes. And I did make that very clear uh, just in this paragraph right here under goal. So if you have any confusion, just please make sure you read this checklist as all the information is there. So the last part of the process is to check if the website is clean in the Wayback Machine. All we need to do is head over to Wayback Machine, which is web.archive.org. Again, I've got links to all of these in the seven step checklist. So you don't have to worry about trying to screenshot them or anything like that. Once you're on the homepage, simply enter in the URL of the expired domain you are potentially looking to buy, carry out a search, and what it's going to do is bring up screenshots from the whole duration of this domain. So let's go right to the beginning, which is 2004, which is when the domain was actually registered and had a website live. And we'll click July the 5th, 2004, We've got a screenshot at three past three in the morning. Let's go ahead and give that a click and see what the website looked like. So as you can see, Harley Street treatments, professional guaranteed service of the highest possible quality. Our reputation speaks for itself. Okay, so it's all about treatments. Good, good, good. So that's pretty much what the domain says, right? Harley Street treatments. So let's fast forward now from 2004 and we'll go to 2011. And by the way, I know it's 2011 as when you hover over these parts at the top, it actually shows you the date in the right hand corner just for a little bit of clarity. So in 2011, they actually had a website redesign. This looks a bit better than what they had before, which seemed to be just a landing page. We've got a bit more information about the company and what they do, hair removal, uh, sorry, hair care, muscle relaxing injections, acupuncture. So it's all about treatments, right? Cosmetic surgery, which is exactly what it said in SEO tools, if you remember, health and cosmetic surgery as the first and second category. So, so far it all looks good, right? The website has not changed topic and it doesn't look spammy. Let's go fast forward a few more years. Let's go to 2016. And once again, you can see they've had another website redesign. However, it's still on topic of what the original website was about, which is cosmetic surgery. Again, so nothing spammy I'm seeing here whatsoever. I'm gonna check one more. Let's go for 31st of July, 2018. And you can see it's now redirecting from Harley Street Treatments to Harley Street Aesthetics. So it doesn't seem that spammy whatsoever. They just maybe changed the domain name. For some reason, I'm not allowed to actually access this. Let's go back one more year to 13th of March, 2018. Again, it's still forbidden. So they may have had some website issues around that time. So if I can take it back to 2017, 12th of October. And again, they're still having issues right there, which is quite interesting. So let's go over to the 1st of June, 2021. What was happening with the website then? Okay, I can tell already they seem to have fixed it because I can see the name right here, Harley Street Aesthetics. So it had a little bit of a rough patch, but nothing really that's giving me any red flags. I hope you can see just how powerful this tool is. It allows us to see how a domain has actually been used over its lifetime. Now, sometimes what's going to happen is when you review domains, you'll go from one year to another year and you'll see one year it was about cosmetic surgery and then next year it was about woodworking. And what that means is that that domain expired, someone bought it and then used it for SEO purposes on a completely different website in a different niche. If that happens once, then that's not the end of the world. But if you are seeing the website change literally every other year, then you definitely wanna stay away from that domain as it has been spammed and it has been abused for the purpose of SEO. So again, let's imagine this website is absolutely fine, which in this instance, it actually is. This definitely is not spammy by any means whatsoever. You go back to your checklist, clean and way back machine, and I would come in here and put yes. So if I owned an affiliate site in the cosmetic niche, this is a domain I would definitely be interested in purchasing. So that is it for this one. We've gone through the whole process from A to Z, and I'll see you in the next one where I'm gonna show you another alternative to SEO domains, and that's gonna be a premium solution. I'll see you there.